Hey guys, this is Brandon from Gin Mill. We're at uh, 107 Wyndham Street North. We're going to be walking you through a cocktail for the uh, Relay for Life. So there's actually going to be two videos. The first one is going to be our cocktail. The second one is going to be the mocktail. All right, so stay tuned. You're doing no booze. Second video is going to have that for you, okay? Uh, in the meantime, though, we're doing our Relay for Life cocktail. We're going to be trying to stick with the uh, color schemes. We're doing a deep blue and a yellow. So what we have here, I'm going to run you through everything you're going to need. Uh, there also should be a, I'm going to write it out as well, so you should be able to find all the ingredients you're going to need uh, alongside this post, okay? So, uh, stuff you're going to need to get started here is fresh squeezed pineapple juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, local gin, always use the uh, Dixons if you can, a little, blue, little bit of uh, blue curacao, uh, some lime juice, and this guy is a uh, ginger simple syrup. So I'll talk a little bit about simple syrup. It's always going to be on the stove, 50% sugar, 50% water. You're gonna let it reduce a little bit. You're gonna add your chopped ginger in there and uh, chopped and peeled. You're gonna leave that for about 10 minutes in a rolling boil. Then you're gonna take it off and you're gonna let it sit for another 10 minutes while it cools down. Then you're gonna strain it through some cheesecloth and that's how you get your simple syrup. Uh, if that seems a little bit too in depth for you, if you have a shaker, you can always put uh, a little bit of chopped ginger in your bar shaker and a little spoonful of sugar. And that's gonna do not quite the same thing, but it's kind of a quick and dirty way to get around it. All right, we've done our simple syrup. Tools you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need a spoon. I've got a bar spoon, but kitchen spoon will work fine. Cutting board, a knife, a lime. This is called the jigger, it's for measuring alcohol and ingredients. Uh, you don't necessarily need this because you're probably making this cocktail at home just for yourself, which means uh, no one's gonna be looking over your shoulder, making sure you got the measurements right, all right? So go crazy. And then you're gonna need a rocks glass, something like that, okay? And, uh, and some ice. So, uh, there we go. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a scoop of ice, put it right into our glass, maybe about half full there. And then, we're gonna start with the fun stuff, all right? We're gonna do an ounce and a half of our gin. I'm gonna move some of this stuff aside so you can see. I should mention, we do a weekly uh, cocktail subscription service, but in that case, we bring the ingredients right to your doorstep, and then you follow along with me every week. We teach you how to make the cocktails. That's called Stir Crazy Subscription. Feel free to look that up. But uh, we're going to do with uh, what we have this for this, because we didn't have a chance to uh, deliver everything to you guys. So hopefully you can follow along. You can find all the ingredients you need. You're going to make a delicious cocktail. All right. So you're going to put an ounce and a half of Dixon's Gin right into your glass. Then you're going to put the same amount, ounce and a half of this beautiful pineapple juice. We're gonna do one ounce of lemon, because that stuff is super sour, which I'm sure you know, I don't know why I'm telling you that. And then you're gonna do about three quarters of an ounce of lime as well. And then, just to make sure that we got it as sweet as we want, we're gonna do about an ounce and a quarter of our uh, ginger simple syrup, okay? So there's your ounce, boom, and a quarter, boom, right in there. We're gonna take our spoon, right down the side of your glass, just work it around the outside like that. Just because we're not counting on everybody having the right bar tools, we're kind of doing this uh, in a way that I'm sure most people can do at home. Uh, if you ever do subscribe to Stir Crazy with us, you get a full bar kit as well. So you'll have a proper stirring glass, proper shaker, bar spoon, everything you're gonna need, okay? Now, here's the tricky part, all right? You're gonna take your spoon, you're gonna press it against the side of your glass. You're gonna take your blue curacao, you're gonna make sure the coast is clear here so you're not knocking anything over. And you're gonna ever so carefully just try and get that to stay as much on the surface as you can, which may not be very much. But that's totally okay because you're still gonna end up with the exact color scheme that we're looking for, our beautiful blue and yellow. You're going to cut yourself a wheel of lime with a cut right up to the middle there. Set that guy on the side and then cocktail napkin and there it is. That is your relay for life. Join us in the next video. We'll be doing the mocktail. All right. Cheers.